Good morning, everyone. This is uh, Fabio Guerriero from Pavia. Chronic pain is highly prevalent in older adults. Uh, we know that uh, it affects about 60% of people over 65 years, and it factually impairs up to 80% of residents in nursing homes. Chronic pain, that is uh, uh, by definition a pain present for more than three months, increases costs and particularly in older people has a, a significant impact on the quality of life. And uh, strong opioids represent a valid option for chronic pain management in geriatrics. However, there are major barriers to the use of opioids in older patients, including the fear of adverse events, in particular bowel dysfunction and constipation. To limit opioid-induced bowel dysfunction, an oral prolonged release combination of a strong opioid agonist uh, oxycodone and the antagonist naloxone has developed. Oral naloxone, due to its very low systemic bioavailability, blocks opioid receptors in the gastrointestinal tract without affecting the central analgesic effects of oxycodone. In fact, this combination was shown to provide effective analgesia and significantly reducing the incidence of opioid-induced constipation. However, data in the elderly are limited. Our open-label perspective study assessed the efficacy and safety of low-dose oxycodone naloxone combination in patients older than 70 years, presenting with moderate to severe chronic pain. Patients with cognitive impairment, without, sorry, without cognitive impairment and naive to strong opioids were prescribed oxycodone and naloxone at the initial dose of 5 mg twice a day for 28 days. In case of insufficient analgesia, the initially daily dose could be gradually increased up to 20 mg daily. The primary efficacy measure was change in pain intensity from baseline and it was assessed by 10-point numerical rating scale, that is the NRS score. Changes in cognitive state, daily functioning, quality of line, constipation and other adverse events were also assessed. Uh, oral oxygenon naloxone combination was associated with a substantial decrease in pain intensity and in most of the patients, mean daily pain decreased after four weeks more than 30%. And the primary endpoint of our study that is the reduction of mean daily pain more than 30% in the absence of bowel dysfunction deterioration was achieved in 72% of our patients. And these results were achieved despite the low doses of oxygen naloxone using during the study. After four weeks, 34% uh, of patients achieved complete or near complete benefit. Drug combination significantly relieved pain and markedly reduced the impact of pain on daily function and it was assessed by the BPI short form test. Moreover, at the four-week uh, observation, there was a slight improvement in the ability to perform delicate activities and uh, it was shown by a significant, significant increase in the Barter Index score and on the contrary, no substantial changes were observed in the cognitive status uh, as assessed by minimal mental state examination. Of note, the administration of oxycodone and naloxone did not further worsen bowel function and it was well tolerated in this fragile population during the 28 days of treatment. Really, only one patient experienced drowsiness leading to drug discontinuation within the first week. And this figure shows the prevalence and the severity of common, common opioid-related symptoms at different times of the observation. And almost all these symptoms were already present at baseline and as a matter of fact decreased during the study. Only dry mouth is slightly worsened over the four-week observation. So in conclusion, pain is often under-recognized in the oldest population and due to multiple and concomitant chronic disease and cognitive disorders. Elderly patients are uh, as well all too often inappropriately treated and opioids are often not used for the fear of adverse events. However, especially in the, those patients at a high risk of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs induced adverse events such as gastrointestinal bleeding, Strong opioids at low dose may be a better tolerated treatment suggested, was also suggested by recent international guidelines. Our preliminary findings suggest that low dose of oxycodone naloxone combination may provide effective analgesia also in the very old population. And this is generally well tolerated with no occurrence of constipation or other opioid-related adverse events. Finally, notably, most patients achieve these benefits with a low dose of drug and with no need to increase to higher doses in the following weeks. Thank you for the attention.